Well, g'day folks, it's Revan here. Hope you're doing well. And I have to say that um, it's been an interesting for Friday, but I have to admit there's a lot of things been going on, but I will show you this. Okay, to be fair, it is a fair question. Let's just be honest and be real. And as real as it gets, I'm going to be honest and upfront and maybe blunt about it, but it may be sound the grain towards myself here, but at the same time that I'd rather be honest and upfront with you all and tell you the truth, that why am I not Twitch partner yet? Now, to, in all seriousness though, um, I have had a great ride um, for the last, you know, nearly three years of streaming now, but um, I have had some mixed success. Like for example, um, most recently this year, and as of most recently that I have already reached um, reached my you know path to partner goal which is awesome um, but at the same time that I've had situations where that you know that there had been some things that implicated in between my journey of meeting my goals as such now I will admit that even though my viewership numbers have been pretty damn awesome um, I'll give you pretty much a good insight here about like what happened since uh, September like, you know, since September all the way through up to now, it has been fluctuating and going up and down. Now, it depends on depending on different games or what I've been streaming at the time. Um, this one was, you know, Star Wars The Republic. But, you know, like there's some other games that I've been focused on with the warships. It has been pretty much, you know, predominantly strong. Um, but, you know, there have been some days that I have been having a bit of a bad luck, you know, a bit of a hit and miss. And let's just be honest and real realistic here. There have been some days, you know, like I have had some good viewership numbers and other days I have had, you know, a bit of a nosedive. Now, I will be honest though, the requirements for Twitch in terms of becoming a Twitch partner, it's a bit of a joke in some ways, but at the same time that... I'm just going to be realistic with you. I'm actually competing against myself, against other people out there at the same time. And the trouble is though, I have to try to find a day and a, and a time that I can that I can do it myself without burning myself out in the process. And keeping myself true to the schedule is a big a bit of a key. I've had, you know, some situations where that, you know, like um, I had some drama uh, within my channel and community because of different reasons it can be from between different friends or different people uh, in the channel and community have a bit of beef up between other people out there and you know like in all seriousness though we all have that moments and it's true let's just be honest and be real but sometimes drama can be a bit of a healthy thing but also can be quite a negative thing and the biggest negative thing about it all is that it um, it shits me to tears that Whenever drama happens in my channel community, uh, it happens to me as well. And my reputation goes up to shit up creek because of it, um, for whatever the reason. Now, I've had situations where I had to get rid of certain individuals just to make sure I protect my own channel community because of my own reputations on the line. And it sucks because even though I like these certain people, but some people I just have to, you know, just go... When like like you know bro i'm gonna have to say to you man and tell you as much as i like you but it has to be the way it is that's it and i hate it having those conversations i really do so i bring i blame myself for it a lot because every time that you know like whenever i get so close to achieving something someone uh, has a habit of stabbing myself in the back which is pretty bad um and it's actually kind of bad really when i think about it but you know there are some people out there who have actually said to me that um, i spend more time helping others but not helping myself and that is exactly true in all seriousness though i go out on my own way helping others to you know get them set up get them going and everything and it's all well and good nothing wrong with that but the problem is that I'm not helping myself in the process uh, by more so in a way that I, in some way I can think about it is that I need to focus on myself and my channel community and also make sure I'm building it. Building it 
in a great strength way. And in all seriousness, though, I do see myself doing it already in a lot of things incredible and great lengths where I have helped people in great lengths for teaching them how to stream, teaching them how to, you know, migrate themselves from, you know, Streamlabs to OBS Studio, for example, or um, teaching them how to use, you know, Stream Elements or Moobot or uh, Streamlabs, other things, you know, like different system tools so that they get familiar what they're after in, in the long term. I have had situations where I have helped a lot of people with, um, you know, stream gear and I'm not having a go at that because in all seriousness though, it's actually a great thing. It helps, you know, build a bit of publicity and stuff like that. You see, I am a very helpful kind of person. I love helping people and you know um, some people out there think that i had not been helping myself well it could be a, uh, a bit of a double uh, edged sword comment here you see when i go out of my own way to help people i'm not expecting much in return i really am not but i'm hoping this is the hope you know this is the hope i have i'm hoping to become twitch partner one day it will come one day um and you know like the times and days i've streamed i have to admit as i analyze this very carefully it sucks in some way shape or form because like i have to stream late at night to early in the morning and um, just to get decent viewership and in all seriousness though i'm not having to go at anyone at all for the time zone i live in in australia it's bloody well true that most of the people that i hang out with are either um not in the same you know at least about you know four to five hour time zone difference that's not the case um i have a lot of people out there from different time zones uh, that it could be at least about like eight or nine hours behind and that's or in front which can happen, I guess, but I'm not arguing against that at all, at all. I mean, like, I love the community. I love the people around me and stuff like that. But for the people who have been asking me these questions and badgering me and hurting me, it hurts because um, whenever they say to me, it's like, Raven, why are you not Twitch partner yet? Well, that is the honest goddamn truth. The goddamn truth is that, you know, like, I can't force people to watch me. I have to make sure that I have an entertaining, uh, an uplifting stream that is, you know, pretty productive, that keeps people motivated and interested to see what I'm doing. It's not all about giveaways. It's all about having fun and having a great time, getting to know each other, and at the same time, going above, beyond, and I mean, making an awesome community and going forward that's all it is i have a strange goal and that is not taking things for granted here and that is by continuing to spread the love and helping each other and build a unique community where people feel appreciated for what they've been doing i'm not asking much in return i really am not i truly am not there are some people out there who said like um, well, when I last time applied for Twitch, I had a look at my previous application uh, feedback what was being given, and the issue that I did have last time was in regarding to being raided a few times, and I have to say that's a bit of a downside um, from Twitch. You see, when Twitch looks at your, you know, like, uh, looks at your progress and stuff like that, they actually have a look, you know, in terms of, you know, like, uh, when you were last time raided or something like that, or, um, look at, you know, your statistics and, you know, have a very, very close look on what you have been, you know, doing. Like, for example, if you're getting a, all of a sudden a huge, big spike, you know, all of a sudden they're probably just watching it very carefully to see if you actually had decent viewership at the beginning um, and to get to where it is, you know. Um, if you have been raided for a, a certain period of time in your stream, um, you probably won't uh, get recognized for that. You'll probably get recognized for the fact that you have maintained a good viewership standard, but at the same time that you actually do not have... X amount of viewers before this hap actually happened. 
I have to admit that I, I wasn't 100% sure how that works, but I have set a standard where I have at least 80 people watching, 80 random people, I don't care who they are, as long as they are watching my stream proactively or lurking in the background, but at least I have a decent viewership per stream in going forward towards, you know, my Twitch partner goal. That even though that being said, it doesn't mean that I will necessarily get it. It basically means that, you know, when I'm thinking about my streams and my content and everything I do, I feel like I have an awesome community that is thriving, that is driven behind me. And I'm actually, you know, making ends meet and making a great, you know, um, example of myself to everyone out there. Honestly, I, that's what it's coming down to. It really is. It's coming down to that. It really is. I actually was a bit surprised about the amount of stuff I have done um, over the, the past few years on my streaming platform that I'm with on Twitch, as well as on YouTube and other things. I mean, like uh, YouTube, um, there was a bit of a question about the uh, why um, the YouTube partner program. And uh, I found out that even though I'm eligible to apply for it, but I found out that I have to meet at least a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. And that's okay. I mean, like, as soon as that goes, I'm, I'm sealed in, I'm good, you know, really good to go in. But, you know, it's understandable uh, behind all this because you want to build a community where it's really active as not dead. You want to show things to people out there around the world that you're doing something great, that's innovative, that people will get to watch your content and enjoy it. That is the biggest thing about it all that I find. I have to say that, you know, like, in, before I wrap these things up, uh, before, you know, with this uh, discussion about Twitch Partner and such, I will admit, though, that the journey for Twitch Partner it has its pros and cons. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Uh, whenever it comes to, you know, like... Uh, the requirements for it as such, I mean like, you know, 25 hours, you know, 12 different days and um, have, you know, different um, uh, good, you know, viewership and going forward and, that, and that's a sort of way, shape or form. Um, it, it brings me to the point that, you know, like when I think about this, I know I'm making progress and that is the main thing. I know that is the main thing and going forward. I have to admit that Whenever I think about what I've been doing and what I've been doing for this community and for the people out there, I know that I have a great uh, group of people around me. And honestly, I'm hoping onwards and upwards that sometime in the future, I will become Twitch partner. But unfortunately, as Twitch tells me, you haven't reached it yet. You haven't reached it yet. So that's exactly the reason why, you know, like I'm going through a, a mind battle between why I'm not Twitch partner yet and and Twitch is turning around saying you haven't reached it yet. It sucks, man. But I mean, like, uh, it's a bit of a work in progress. And this is not a thing that happens overnight. This is a thing that takes some time. Uh, in building a community you see like when i started streaming a while ago i thought you know like uh, getting to those goals will be simple no it's not you have to fight your way through the tooth and nail to earn it and in all seriousness though i take it to heart i mean like it's a bit of a big criticism of myself i have let myself down big time and i i feel that uh like you know i failed a few times in my life and you know, um, and no, no matter, I take, uh, I take an old saying from Rocky Bilbao's uh, movie when, like, you know, and it doesn't matter how hard you get hit, it's like if you're willing to take the hit in, in order to get yourself pushing forward. That kind of, you know, summarizing the saying there. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I am hoping to become a Twitch partner one day. Um, it doesn't stop me from applying Twitch Partner right now. I mean, like, I, I can do what I can, um, you know, by doing, you know, charity streams, um, you know, have, you know, third-party games like Stream Rays, for example, on there, or, you know, do promotions, uh, like, for example, like, Shadow, uh, 
raid show legends and other games like that like war thunder as well too that i did in the past um king of sea tournaments is good you know like the one thing i love about king of sea tournaments ladies and gentlemen is that it builds a very strong community and i actually have to admit that um with the decent viewership i have been getting this year it was actually very good and you know it's good to see that my follow base is actually going up and it's pretty good i almost have reached over six uh, nearly six thousand followers now on my twitch channel which is great it's phenomenal but we'll get there we'll get there ladies and gentlemen i mean like it's just one of those things that i'm just hanging in there but at the end of the day folks i just i'm gonna hang in there for now and just keep going at it if you want to see me succeed and become a twitch partner maybe not this year but next year anything would help all right anything would help raids as such is not the issue that i'm looking at okay it's not that i just need to see myself succeed by pushing up without having to rely on other people and even though I have helped a lot of people. I'm not asking much in return. But we'll see how we go. Until then, folks, have a great weekend. And good to catch up with you all. And until then, stay safe, take care. And I'm sure we'll get to Twitch Potter someday. <laughs>